There is so much to cover this week. Hello agents, I'm Susanna Moyer and this is The Ingress Report. I'm reporting from Pasadena, the site of the Shonen finale. Across the globe, more than 20,000 agents took part in the Shonen Anomalies and countless others helped with this massive struggle, contributing from their regional cells or shepherding the Devrashards on their month-long journey across the globe. The day was the largest XM anomaly in Ingress history, beginning in Kyoto with over 6,000 agents on the ground and with agents joining from across Japan as well as Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, Malaysia and the United States. So I think the favourite thing about it has to be the community and the people that you meet from it. Uh, in Sydney where I play regularly, uh, people meet up every day of the week in different places and go and have dinner and play ingress or, and have a great time. So it's definitely the community that keeps me playing. Uh, what brought me to the anomaly was I wanted to see how the community has grown from last year. Last year in Kyoto we only had a, a, an event with 26 people and only 6 resistance. Um, it's a big difference in numbers and turnout today. Be aware that there may be some drugs wearing blue. Um, apparently some are trying to see things Children and children, what are you doing? Agents travelled across Asia to execute the day's ambitious fielding plans. Some of these may be only here for the CAF. It is impossible for us to predict numbers. Uh, dispatch portals. Team 20 in position. The Enlightened established an early lead in Kyoto and continued to build on it over the course of the day. The resistance was strongest across all three satellite sites. Kyoto was controlled by Kyoto Seiyo Shitanoa The Enlightened When the anomaly came to an end, the resistance had captured seven of the ten connected cells as well as the satellites Adelaide 646 to 344 Christchurch 1017 to 191 and Guangzhou 420 to 63 the Enlightened took the primary site of Kyoto, 4,214 to 1,198. The next Shonen anomaly began just a few hours later. Nearly 4,000 agents from across Europe converged on Hanover, Germany. I want to say, first of all, thank you so much for welcoming me here. It was the first time I see so many people playing together. All right, guys. So you're going to be really happy about this sport. The best thing is uh, meeting other people, walking around, uh, uh, exploring your own city. I hope we can win, but with all the shards in Washington. A lot of different people from a lot of different countries, and it was a great fun. The whole day. I expected uh, the Rizzas to win, yes, but I did not expect it to be that much because I knew the frogs were going to plan something and luckily 
that failed. And finally, with 7,293 to 2,349, don't gloat, this shonen anomaly has been captured by the Resistance. Energized by their loss earlier in the day, the Resistance came out in a fury. While the connected cells were split evenly, five to five, the Resistance took Reykjavik, 1,653 to 248, and Cardiff, 371 to 205. The Enlightened took Yekaterinburg, 378 to 95, and the Resistance took the primary site of Hanover, 4,674 to 1,018. Finally, the struggle for Shonen reached its apex in Pasadena, with over 2,000 agents participating from across the US. After losing in Hanover, and with only a few hours left to control the Devra Shards, the Enlightened faced an uphill battle. Uh, Charlie, we have about 17 Enlightened here. It's been a year since LA recursion, and I think if you look around, you can see that on both sides, there's been an extremely large influx of players who have come to this game. Now, I wish you all the best of luck. Go out there and make it happen, guys. Good luck. Thank you. This is it, Cray One at Swamp Brothers, Sand Garden, and um, what have you been doing today? Were you assigned any specific tasks? Um, I've been deploying, recharging, making sure that they're fully modded, um, and then now here I'm bursting because I'm almost out of resonator. Our plans are to inoculate the portal before as soon as we get there, and then uh, fight it out. That way we don't have to worry about somebody flipping the portal in front of us while we're trying to, to control it. We're really excited to be here. Uh, we drove all the way from Mexico to Pasadena. So um, we're here leading a team of resistant agents and trying to win. This is X-ray 1, confirm all links are, links are down from this location. Wonderful job. I actually started <laughs> in Afghanistan um, at Bagram Air Base. Uh, there was 10 portals. It took me about three months to get le to level seven. Um, and I kept looking at Las Vegas and there's all these portals and I'm like, I gotta get back. We also have a large group of frogs in Tibet. Uh, right now we've just been kind of trying to clean up um, some of the spots that, that got hit early on. Usually it's an occasion uh, to, to see um, stuff that usually you don't see in the city, so monuments, uh, uh, something like that. And also uh, some um, interesting point that, uh, well, if you look at the scanner you have to go, but usually without the scanner you don't know that there is something particular or something uh, uh, so amazing uh, that in that place. Every day I get up and I go down to the park and I'll go hack the park, farming it, and I walk all over the place and I don't realize how far I'm walking because I'm too busy concentrating on getting to that next portal and taking that next portal down and getting what I can for it to go to the next one. And by the time I'm done with the park, I don't realize that I've walked that far, but I remember at the end because I'm hurting so bad when I get back to the car. It's, a, it, it's bad to hurt, but on the other hand, it's pushing me to walk farther and farther every day, which has been a huge help. And I've actually spoke to my doctors about it and everything else, trying to show them the game, and they were actually talking about spreading it to other patients as well. Take out the long links that go right through the center. I'm probably one of the most explored agents um, by far top on AP, um, but what motivated me to, to do everything like travel around as much as I do is all the people, the, the communities that, uh, and all the friends that you make around the world. Niantic and I are making a big leap forward with Endgame. Uh, the closed beta will be available in June. If you want to play it, sign up for it over there. Follow your heart, see which one you like, and choose that line. Uh, I won a lifetime membership to Zipcar, uh, which I'm pretty stoked about. I mean, how can you not be, right? I also won a Zipster for life, a uh, lifetime membership. With 2,762 to 1,852, this event was captured by the Enlightened.
The resistance showed no signs of weakening, taking six of the ten connected cells and dominating Lima, 568 to 44. The Enlightened captured Denver, 410 to 306, Orlando, 362 to 152, and Pasadena, 1,546 to 226. Then we had to change our plan to take down their field so we can get our field up, and uh, basically we're driving around in Death Valley Taking down links. You know, it's a great, a great way to get exercise if that's all you're interested in. But if you're interested, you know, if you're interested in a, you know, more social aspect, there's that too. I got the Android for the game, and that you met amazing people, have amazing adventures. You, you never expect to do this kind of stuff. You start to look around, and you notice murals, and you start to notice statues, and something that I've never done that before. And you start to really appreciate not only your neighborhood but your your world. So it's it's priceless. And being disabled, you know, I have a hard time getting out and meeting people. When Ingress came around, my friend in Australia sent me an invite. I jumped right to it and, you know, I started from knowing just a couple of people from many cities away. Now I I know hundreds of agents from all over the world. Since I don't drive, I'm relegated to public transportation, using my wheelchair to get around. Max is a great guy. Uh, he's a leader of the community. He works within the whole San Gabriel Valley, which is a very big area. And there's, there's really no differentiation between able-bodied and disabled, which I find great. And everybody's welcome. I just heard a phrase that totally makes sense for Wheels to the Max, which is web, where everybody belongs. And to be honest, this is something that applies to me, applies to my family, with my kid who plays with us, and definitely Max. Everybody's been telling me all day how, oh, you're Gimster. I don't even know these people. And they just say, oh, we found you on G+. And I, I think it's amazing. The stakes have shown in our high. On one front, Jahan, the biotech researcher and anti-Magnus leader, has been attempting to usher in a new renaissance, fueled by the knowledge of the Nazir. On the other, thousands of years of effort by the secret group known as 13 Magnus has kept the Nazir at bay, according to them, protecting humanity from the Nazir's toxic influence. In the middle of these two colliding forces stood Devra Bogdanovich, for whom the stakes were much more personal. After being scattered into XM shards around the world, we learned that agents could reshape her destiny by controlling the shonen anomalies and shards. Thousands of agents took part in the global struggle to transport the Devra shards through the portal network. Over the last month, the Devra shards touched every continent except Antarctica and traveled over 300,000 kilometers, a truly remarkable distance, nearly the equivalent of eight times around the Earth. From Japan, Agent Ashlad shared this story of Operation Kara-Aji, an adventure fueled by fried chicken while navigating shard number 11 through the dense portal network of Tokyo. Nearly 300 agents were involved, including Bone Rock, Nine Dot, Snowstorm 2, and Taro Boy. After 12 days, they were able to transport the shard across the Pacific Ocean to Hawaii. In Portugal, a crack team of eight enlightened agents, including Kill Orca, Outfit Joe, Nico Blast, and Chlorophylla, coordinated with a team in Brazil to transport shards number 17, 29, and 7 to the Azor Islands. However, all three shards eventually went on to reach the resistance target in Washington, D.C. In Norway, resistance agent Biotar Bjorna went airborne, assisting in the defense of shards number 30 and 14 in an operation over the Rot Islands. In Belgium, dozens of resistance agents, including Entity, Mickey, Loverdose, and Snickers, converged in the woods at night to safeguard shard number 19 and prevent it from getting closer to the enlightened target in Rotterdam. In France, the enlightened group TEHS moved north through the country, transporting shard number four with them every step of the way, ultimately bringing it into the Netherlands, where they narrowly missed the enlightened target. And finally, also in Norway, an enlightened team calling themselves Team X built two 1,500-kilometer links to help move shard number 24 to the Netherlands. As the day is drawing to a close, cryptic messages from Devra Bogdanovich have started appearing within the Ingress scanner and at the cross-faction meetup in Pasadena. The last message emerged just as we were beginning to learn the outcome of the anomalies. With 23,918 to 15,208, Shonen belongs to the Resistance! The Resistance shard operations were resourceful and well executed. They captured 13 shards compared to none for the Enlightened. 
With a clear margin of 8,710, Shonen went to the resistance, 23,918 to 15,208. We know the Enlightened have risen to the challenge before. In the coming months, they will need to do so again. Today's overwhelming resistance victory was a reminder of their prowess as an organized and cohesive global force. It marks another blow against the millennia-long campaign orchestrated by 13 Magnus to deny humanity the knowledge of the Nazir. And it marks the beginning of a new strategic relationship between Bogdanovich and the resistance. P.A. Chapeau was on the ground in Pasadena. He told me that by using knowledge about Truthseeker, he intends to completely free Clue from Ada. P.A., hi. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Hi. Hey. Can I ask what, what brings you here? I think you probably know what brings me here. I'm, uh, I'm here to seek the truth as I always do. Right now, I'd really like to finish something that I started. Based on the messages from Devra, it appears that now she's become one with the very thing she previously thought of as toxic, exotic matter. Resistance agents. In this new form, the Resistance have gained a powerful ally. How will she shape their future? In the wake of the enlightened loss, Hank Johnson shared a frustrated and worried message on G+. He had been in Hanover, reportedly attempting to learn more about what happened to Dr. Linton Wolfe after the Shonen Stone ritual went awry. In his message, he promised that he would continue to pursue Jahan and further the enlightened cause, saying that he was returning to Persepolis to finish what he started. No information has emerged as to the fate of the other Niantic investigators who disappeared after the failed Shonen ritual. The sun now sets on Shonen, but the struggle between 13 Magnus and Anti Magnus, Enlightened and the Resistance, and the Shapers and the Nazir continues. For the Ingress Report, I'm Susanna Moyer. A dangerous path lies ahead. Prepare now for what comes next.